We are out here. Yeah. Reorienting knowledge. That's the thing. That is the rest and You know, when I was thinking about like being rest and sort of the meaning behind a lot of this, like the word, the actual word, right? It's re symphonic, right? It's re harmonized, really, because symphony is harmony. I thought about it once as a congregation of sounds. You know, I think that's, I don't know, I think that's. Yeah, exactly. No, literally, yeah. To others, yep. But to first, to, to be resymphonic, we first must consider our condition. All right, I, I tend to think of condition uh, on a couple different levels. The literal, right, the condition, the physical condition, your state of being, how you feel right now. Yeah. Yeah. You feel it. Okay. In reference to someone. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so like when you're with, like when you're next to someone else, when you're with someone else, and you're in the same space as other people, there's this sort of energy. And that's the thing that's like, that's sort of more um, ethereal. But that's at the same time, that's also the thing that. Right. True. You have to see someone who's rich or interact with someone who's rich in order to see the difference. True. True. Yeah, okay, well, yes, yeah. But here, here's the, the problem with that, right, as we were saying. Focusing on the outcome inevitably will lead to issues because if your perception is based on the outcome part of it, then when whatever you want to happen doesn't happen, you're kind of left feeling like, well, what do I do now? Or like, what did I do wrong? Yes. Because expectations aren't really that helpful. Like setting setting a standard for yourself is different than setting an expectation for yourself. Because that's like limiting yourself, really. I think so. You standardize your actions. You standardize what your system will be within yourself, your internal logic for how to do things. Exactly. It's optimization. Exactly that. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Exactly, the literal. Because... If you think about the physical, and if physical is like, like I was saying, like a part of condition, and like one of the definitions of condition, um, you can, or you feel the effects of that. You feel the effects of your condition physically, 
Cause what, psychosomatic. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, word of there. That's word of the day. <laughs> so, like, you know, that concept of whatever's going on in your mind leading to your body reacting a certain way. I mean, well, anxiety is a pretty good example of that. Stress, yeah. Yes, we were. Here's the thing about awkwardness, all right? <laughs> but it, it, it does within the mind. So it's not real, but it's, it exists, I think. Is real. Well, yeah, because perception. But, Isn't right because that's the other trick of awkwardness and stress and anxiety is that it tricks you into thinking a thing, and then will like you'll like also think that you'll be punished for even asking and finding out the truth of that. I lean into it these days. I used to not, but I used to like freeze up. I was a big freeze up guy. I'd be like, uh, stage fright. Uh, what do I do? You know? Yeah. Literally that, that would just like play in my head for like the rest of the day. And I was just like, all right, well I'm screwed. Um, but now I'm like, I'm just call it out. I'm like, that was awkward. That was, that was weird. That was that, you know, that's on me. That was weird. It's okay. It's fine. Exactly. Yeah. Get, just get used to that. I mean, at the end of the day, they're into it, they're into it, they're not, they're not. Yeah. Ah, that's a little more complicated. I don't have an answer for that yet. That's harder. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay. not take themselves too seriously. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, ooh, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. <laughs> 